Welcome back to New Day Northwest. Is the perfect martini shaken or stirred or perhaps a little bit dirty? Well, how about it? Yes, as the answer to all those questions. National Martini Day is June 19th, so New Day is celebrating a little bit early. To help us stir and shake a few drinks is Seattle mixologist Joe Dietrich. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Of course. We love a martini here on New Day. And it's interesting that Martini Day falls on Father's Day. Do you think that's a coincidence? You know, I think at the end of the day, everyone wants a little bit of stress relief. So, yes. you know, m makes sense to me. I love it. Okay. So, um, you're going to make a few different ones and show us your favorite ways of making them. Let's get started. What's first? So we're going to do kind of a traditional martini. Uh, today we're going to use the Green Alls uh, Dry Gin. Um, this is one of the oldest distilleries um, that's making a, a London dry right now. Uh, they've been around since 1761 producing the same style. So when I say traditional, uh, I'm looking at something that you know has that kind of characteristic to it. Okay, got it. Now, martinis can be a little bit I don't know, difficult to approach for some people, right? Yeah, I haven't, I'm not ever a big martini fan and I just, I wouldn't make it, so I'm glad that we're doing this. I am as well. Uh, I think the biggest part of that is the vermouth that people choose, but today, I guess we're gonna start with the Green Alls Gin. Okay. And so if you grab your jigger. Okay, oh, I'm doing this with you, I'm oh, ready. Oh yes, we're gonna make this okay. together. Okay, all right. We're gonna start with two ounces of the gin. Okay. Right about there, right into that mixing glass. I love gin, it smells so delicious. Delicious, by the way, is delightful and delicious, all in one, in case you didn't know. I love it. I love it. And, and then, then we're going to add a little bit of this vermouth. So Brovo Pretty is actually made here in Seattle. Um, it is an all-female run team, uh, nice. which I chose specifically because Joanne Moore um, is one of the most decorated distillers. Um, and the, I think the only or the highest decorated master female distiller like on earth. So Joanne! Right? Let's see her go. All right. Now... Add a little vermouth for myself. It smells really, really good. So. You know, I think a lot of people uh, don't like martinis also because vermouth typically is like, you know, you see your grandparents have it. Yeah, it's, it's you don't. It's been out of the refrigerator forever. My grandma loves drinking sweet vermouth on the rocks, and I'm just, I feel like that's, you know, I don't know. Just like good wine, if you treat it appropriately, I'll, I'll see some ice for you. Okay, thank you. Absolutely. Dump that in there. Oh, perfect. Okay. Just like good wine, if you treat your vermouth well, it tastes a lot better. Really? Okay. okay, that's good to know. A little trick that I uh, unfortunately learned later in life as well. So now we're going to stir. I don't know if you're right-handed or left-handed. I'm lefty. All right. So I like to just grab a spoon, try to keep the back foot on the outside of the glass, and just get the ice to kind of move around gently. Oh, so it just kind of does its own thing almost. Well, yes. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That's why we like to use these really long spoons. The, uh, the extra length gives it a little bit more of a fulcrum. So. I feel like the pressure is on when you take <laughs> camera 12, OK? So what else you can do if, if the spirals aren't working? Just flip it over. What, what do you mean? Just flip the whole oh. thing over. You can use the teardrop side. It's a tool. You can do whatever you Look want. That. <laughs> Everybody Boom. has their own way of doing it. The biggest thing is making sure that we get to drink cold and we get enough water in it so it isn't just straight booze, right? Okay. Yes. Yes. That would be good. Now we're going to grab our strainer, a little Hawthorne strainer. Okay. And this is what we're going to serve in. Ooh, so put the, the strainer on that glass. Oh, wait. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Stop looking at me. <laughs> and then we're just going to strain this right in. All right. Here we go. Now, typically, I like a, I like a dirty martini if I'm going to have it. But I'm excited okay. to try this. So cheers to. Well, oh, oh, we're not one done. One element we're missing. Okay. Just a little final twist of citrus. Oh. And now you can get martinis with olives. You can get martinis with twists. I mean, there's a million different martinis, right? Right. Uh, because I very much enjoy this gin, I think that its botanical nature draws towards the citrus side. I love a botanical. And since we're using a slightly sweeter vermouth Ooh. than a dry vermouth. Oh my goodness, that smells delicious. Cheers. Mm. Oh wow, that is much smoother than I thought it was gonna be. Still a little heavy on the alcohol side for me, <laughs> but I really enjoyed that. All right, let's move to the next one, the avant-garde. All right, so this one is going to be a little bit more intensive for presentation. Uh, we're gonna be using the Opir Gin, um, okay. also made by Joanne Moore. Okay. Um, this, the Green Alls is essentially like, you know, telling the story and keeping the history alive. Yeah. Uh, Opir, uh, she spent time traveling across the, you know, basically the old Silk Road. Um, found wow. a bunch of ingredients, met a bunch of farmers, and made this gin to honor them. And the label is just so beautiful, look at that. Oh, I love that. Okay, so let's get to it then. Let's try this gin. And you like experimenting with different gins. I think there's a different gin for everybody, and it's one of the mm -hmm. things that I absolutely love. I'm like, here, you, put it oh, in we're, there. We're going to throw this. All right, you okay. ready for this? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. All right. 
So, so we're gonna, two once ounces? again, we're going to start with two ounces of the gin. Okay. Put it in the big one or the little guy? Uh, we're going to put it in the big container. Okay. And then we do... So <clears throat> the distiller's favorite way to drink this gin is with ginger ale. Uh, but since it's Martini Day, I decided to use a little bit of that influence. So we have a cherry blossom vermouth uh, that's infused with ginger. Oh, wow. That's interesting. It arrests the nose when you sniff it. It does. It is a very unique flavor, but I, I, I absolutely love it. And we'll give it a shot. You know, I trust you, my friend. As many cherries as we have here in the state of Washington. We should. All right, we only have about a minute left, so we, right. need, to, we need to get moving. What's that? Orange Bitter? bitters. Bitters, okay. Now we're going to add some ice. Okay. All right, now I'm going to do this once in front of you, and then you're going to try it, right? Yes. All right. And you say, by the way, the key to a good bartender is speed, efficiency, and bedside manner. I like this. That is correct. So what, what I mean, obviously speed and efficiency are pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. But to me, bedside manner is this whole idea of it's not really what you say, but how you say it. Uh, so you know, pe true. People go to bars and restaurants for different reasons. All right. Um, and you know, whatever that reason may be, you want to make sure that they're taken care of appropriately. All right. So we put this on? Nope. Nope. All right. I'm just going to watch you do this because we throw. only have about 30 seconds left. All right. So basically with throwing, we're trying to slightly aerate the vermouth, kind of wakes it up. Okay. You don't want to overshake it just like wine, you don't really want to shake. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not doing this. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, it's a fun thing to practice. <laughs> now a couple of these turns, because we're only chilling it each, you know, once each turn, All right. is what it takes. We'll drop this off in here. All right. And then once again with a little bit of lemon. And give it a shot. I like the lemon. It adds such a nice flavor. All right. There we are. Let me try this. It smells good. Mm. Oh, that is very unique. I've never had anything like that. Pretty good. Thank you so much <laughs> for you your enjoyed. time, Thank for your you. throwing, for everything. We appreciate you. And it's just in time for Martini Day. Joe is sharing his martini recipes with our viewers, and you'll find them over on our website.